Stock number 18 on the series for the for the Cashless GTX Cup Series brings us to Chicagoland Speedway for the running of the LifeLock.com 400. <clears throat> on the pole, Richard Anderson, alongside of him, Trey Campbell. Row 2, Matthew Rodriguez and Zed Weinstein. Row 3, Andrew Baranda and Rob McCabe. And the fourth row, Ryan Cooper and CJ Sorensen. This will be a 14 lap race. The green flag about to come out. And we are underway from the windy city of Chicago. Trey Campbell actually got the jump on Richard Anderson, the pole sitter. Don't think that's a penalty. Not in this game it is, I don't think. Richard Anderson gets the jump on Trey Campbell as they come out, takes the lead on Trey Campbell as they come out of the second turn. Here comes Matthew Rodriguez on the inside, going for the lead. Out of the fourth turn they come, and at the stripe, Richard Anderson leads the lap. Here comes Matthew Rodriguez, still on the inside. Two are side by side, Chevy on the inside, Ford on the outside. And Anderson still uh, hanging tough on the outside. Usually outside groove is not where you want to be. Out of the fourth turn, Matthew Rodriguez now finally takes the lead. That's about a car length advantage on Richard Anderson as they come out of the turn. And it's Matthew Rodriguez now on top with Richard Anderson second. Battle for third, Andrew Baranda in the 11, Ryan Cooper in the 1. And here comes Chris Dalton on the inside of the 42 car. Almost three wide as they come out of the turn. Now Cooper squeezes in between Dalton and Baranda. That's the top five cars right there. There's Jacob Rodriguez in the 27 having a good run. Trey Roberts in the 56, Colin Cropley. Trey Campbell, our outside pole sitter, he's dropped back to the ninth spot. And he's got CJ Sorensen on his rear end. Here comes Sorensen on the inside. Sorensen looking for the spot, and he does not get it. But now he's in a three wide battle between what with, or was with one Chevy and a double zero, who's in position, who's in a battle now with. The 48 of Jasmine Acosta and the 4 of Adam Chambers. There's Nick Knotts in a 2 car just getting around the 3 car of Fred Christopher. Taking third of field. Robbie Boggess in a 99. Steven Weber. The Trevor Bain car. Alexander Dawson and Josh Osborne. There's Zed Weinstein's actually dropped back, and so has Rob McCabe in the 22. And they are three wide. Down through there. And oh, we got trouble. John Douglas is around. He takes Derek Walker with him in the 26. And that's looking like the only two in the wreck, though. The 25 of John Douglas, the 26 of... Uh, Derek Walker, oh, heavy damage on the Walker, on Derek Walker's Quaker State Ford. Yellow out for the first time, coming out on lap number eight. There's Walker, John Douglas, he's able to continue on, he's got minimal damage to his car, he passes the pace car, I don't know what that was for. Let's look again as to what happened in this crash between Douglas and Walker. Don't know what happened here. I, they were battling for position. We was talking about Rob McCabe in the 22. There he is right there. He's caught on the outside with John Douglas. He scrapes the wall. Douglas, I think, checked up. Gets right into the 33 of Dougie Shears. Shears saves it, I think. Yep, Shears just saves the car. Now here comes Douglas and Walker around. Walker somehow got in it. Let's look at Derek Walker and see how he got in the crash. I think he was slowing down. I think he checked up. Slowing down. Here he comes. Bam! Yeah. 
just an innocent victim of circumstance, but he got the fuzzy end of that deal. Let's go on board with Derek Walker as to what happened from the in-car camera. Drive it down in the corner and oh crap! Car stalled on him briefly looked like. He was able to get it going again, but big time problems with the car, obviously. Evidenced by the smoke coming out of that machine. So we're under caution here at Chicago. It's Matthew Rodriguez out in front right now. Matthew Rodriguez leads Richard Anderson running in second position. See how the pace car's lights come out this time by. Yes, it is. It's out right now. It looks like to me we're going about to go back under green, so Piotta thinks out of turn four, isn't it? Yes, it is. So it's going to be three laps to go when we get the green flag here at Chicago. And here they come. Matthew Rodriguez leads. Richard Anderson running in second. They go back into turn number one. Here comes Richard Anderson on the inside. The 60 car, the Fastenal machine. He's got the inside lane, the preferred groove. Here in Chicago, but yet we've seen guys tough on the outside. Out of turn number four, he's got the lead from Matthew Rodriguez. Here comes Ryan Cooper trying the inside lane. Jacob Rodriguez gets into the mix too, the 27. And he passes Matthew Rodriguez, his brother, and teammate, too. But Matthew's got the crossover movie. He's got the inside again. This is for third. They come out of turn number four this time. White flag for Richard Anderson. He leads him down to call him Mr. Bones. A 60 car moving into turn number one for the final time. Ryan Cooper, the championship leader, trying to find any weakness out of the 60 car. But so far, nothing doing. They're down the back stretch right now. Anderson has two more turns to negotiate. Here comes Cooper. He's closing in a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Out of turn number four, Richard Anderson comes down. He wins the LifeLock.com 400. Ryan Cooper finishes second. And I believe Matthew Rodriguez took third back. Yes, he did from his brother Jacob, who drops back a bit. There's the running order, Richard Anderson, Ryan Cooper, Matthew Rodriguez, CJ Sorensen finishes fifth, or fifth, yeah, or fourth position, Jacob Rodriguez fifth, Chris Dalton sixth, Andrew Baranda seventh, Adam Chambers eighth, Colin Cropley finishes ninth, and tenth goes to, uh, goes to Jasmine Acosta. Here's the final, here's the rest of the running order right there. There, Robbie Boggess, Josh Osborne twelfth. Fred Christopher, Trey Roberts, Nick Knotts, the top 15. Here's the rest of the run finishing position. Trey Campbell, not a good season for him in the 24. One of the top cars in the field. And there's how the rest of the field is right there. John Douglas and Derek Walker, the last two out of the race. 35th and 36th, respectively. But the win for the first time goes to Richard Anderson in the number 60 Fast and All Ford. There's the look of the car. It looked fast and it was fast. Here's how the standings are after, after the race at Chicago. Ryan Cooper still leaves about 86 over Dylan Petit. Johnny Gardner, the third. Adam Chambers moves up to the fourth position of the points. Kendrick Walker in the number five spot. And let's here's the rest of the top. Runners right there in the points. Boy. Tough season for a lot of those guys. Trey Campbell, Colin Cropley, Jacob Rodriguez, Dougie Shears. A lot of them having tough seasons so far in season one. And if I know some of those guys, they're not going to like that. 
Um, so, next race, the Linux Industrial Tools 300 for New Hampshire.